Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. In today's Elemental CSS Tips and Tricks tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the button display different text on Hover. So to do so, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to drag the button widget, this, and then we're just going to change the text here. We're going to set our first text to be download, and then we'll come down to the button size. We're going to set the button size to large, so we'll have something like this. We'll head on to the styling, and then for the styling, we can change the background color to, to something like this. And then after we've done this, the next thing we'll do, we'll head on to the advanced settings. For the advanced settings, we'll now come down to where we have the position, and we'll set the position to absolute. So now we can drag it here and place it wherever we want to place the button. So once we've done this, the next thing we're going to do is just going to duplicate the button. We can't see the second button, but with the help of the structure or the navigator, we can see it. Now this is button 1 and button 2, so we're just going to title it button 1, button 1, and then we're going to title the second one button 2. So we'll have something like this. So now for the button 1, we're going to come down here and then we'll go down to the custom CSS code and then we're going to add some few lines of CSS code which I've already written in my Atom code editor so this is the code for the button 1 and this is the code for button 2 so for button 1 we're just going to copy this here now you're going to notice that this you're going to notice this this is our uh, CSS um, class this is our CSS class name and then this is the elemental selector CSS uh, selector class here for button widget so this one here is flexible you can change it to whatever you want whatever text you want and you can also do the same here change it to whatever text you want but make sure they are not the same so now we're going to copy this out and then we we'll just head back here and then we'll paste it here so now that we've done this the next thing we'll do is we're going to go over here to the layout under the layout we'll come down to the css classes and then we'll change we're going to type the CSS class download, which is this class in particular, this class here, the download. You can change, like I said earlier, you can change it to whatever text you want. So now that we've done that, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we'll come down to button two, and for button two, we can change. We're going to change the text so we we'll know the difference. We're going to change the text here now to yes, I am eighteen plus. Or you can put it to a, change it to whatever text you want. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at this. And then I'm going to go to the advanced settings, just like I did before. I'm going to go to the custom CSS and uh, head back to my Adam code editor. Don't not to worry. All these codes here will be pinned to the first comment on this video on YouTube, so you can just copy it out and make use of it, whatever, when it, wherever you want, for free. All right, so now we just paste this here and then take note of this. This is the, the CSS class here. We're just going to copy it out and then we'll head back to the layout. Under the layout, we're just going to come down here to the CSS classes and then we'll paste it here. So now that we've done this, if we if, if should go over here and then we'll hover, you can see, you can see the changes. Now download, yes, I am 18 plus. So on. So now you can make this interesting by adding some hover effect or change the color of the second text, second button rather. You can just come over here to the second button. This is button two we are editing right now. We can come over here and change the background color. We can change the background color to let's say something green, like so. And then we can also add some hover effects. Come down to the hover effect and then we'll add a hover animation. We can add a hover animation. Here we can just set it to grow and then we'll have something like this. You can see, you can see we have something like this, or you can just leave it the way it is, set it to none, and then you're still gonna have something that looks like this. So, depending on what you want and your level of creativity, it doesn't really matter. So, that's pretty much it about how to make um, the button show different text on hover. So if you find this video helpful, please remember to like the video. And if you're new to our channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when next I drop a new video. Alright, see you. Bye-bye.